A new study finds that blood thinners can reduce COVID-19 deaths by nearly half. Christmas is at risk as the supply chain disaster is only getting worse. Personal information of more than 1.5 billion Facebook users has been sold on the dark web. A large oil pipeline failure spells ecologic disaster for Huntington Beach area. The global chip shortage will become less severe in the second half of 2022. These stories and more coming up on News For You. Oh, hey there. This is Ben from the Multiformat Network. If you haven't realized, radio has changed a lot in the last 15 years. Years. So what are you doing sitting on your hands? With the multi-format network, you can leave all the production, distribution, and aggregation to us. All you need is a voice and a vision. To learn more about our podcast studio, visit us on Facebook or shoot us an email, mfngeneralmanager at gmail.com. In the meantime, we're jamming, and we hope you like jamming too. This is news for you. The global chip shortage will become less severe in the second half of 2022. AMD CEO Lisa Su said on Monday, we've always gone through cycles of ups and downs, where demand has exceeded supply, or vice versa. This time, it's different. Manufacturing plants that were planned last year will likely start producing chips in the coming months, helping to alleviate shortages for PC parts and other microchips. The pandemic has just taken demand to a new level. Sue said that AMD supports the CHIPS Act, which became law earlier this year and includes subsidies to encourage microchip manufacturing in the U.S. The private and personal information of over 1.5 billion Facebook users is being sold on a popular hacking-related forum, potentially enabling cyber criminals and CD advertisers to target Internet users globally. This constitutes the biggest and most significant Facebook data dump to date. The data contains users' name, email, phone number, location, gender, and user ID. The data appears to be authentic personal data obtained through web scraping. The sold data has been claimed to be new from 2021. Unethical marketers may utilize this data to bombard specific individuals or groups of individuals with unsolicited advertising. Southern California wetlands could face ecological impacts after a pipeline failed, causing a 126,000-gallon oil spill from an offshore rig in the waters off Huntington Beach this weekend. Oil was no longer leaking on Sunday, according to the head of the company that owns the facility. Amplify Energy, which owns the pipeline, shut the line down and suctioned out the remaining oil. The company's CEO also pledged full cooperation with the cleanup effort. We are investigating the source and potential cause of this incident. Huntington Beach Mayor Kim Carr described the situation as a potential ecologic disaster and said some of the oil has reached the shore and was impacting the Talbert marshlands on the Santa Ana River Trail. The smell hits you and there is just gunk everywhere. Unfortunately, as a result of the oil spill, we are starting to see oil-covered fish and birds washing up along our coastline. A study out of Toronto finds the use of blood thinners by COVID-19 patients, either before being infected with the disease or afterwards, can reduce deaths by almost half. According to Dr. Sameh Hazayan, lead author of the study and an assistant professor of medicine at the University of Minnesota Medical School. We know that COVID-19 causes blood clots. That can kill patients, which is why we looked at data to see if it impacted hospitalizations related to COVID-19. We already know that overwhelmed hospitals have a higher risk for death among their patients, so reducing hospitalization may have a positive impact during a COVID-19 surge. The study also found that patients on blood thinners before contracting the virus were admitted less often to hospitals despite being older on average and suffering from more chronic medical conditions. Christmas is at risk as the supply chain disaster is only getting worse. Earlier in the year, the hope was that the bottlenecks that gummed up the global supply chain in 2020 would be mostly cleared by now. They've actually only gotten worse. Packages have arrived. Guess what, COVID outbreaks have idled port terminals. There still aren't enough cargo containers, causing prices to spike tenfold from a year ago. This was news for you.